All right. Good evening, classmates. My name is AJ, and I'm going to reflect on the article for class for Speech 10. So the first question I decided to answer was, what does the title of the article, Love is Not a Permanent State of Enthusiasm, mean? I think it means that usually when you think of enthusiasm, you think something that brings you joy. But, or something that, you know, gives you joy when you're doing the activity. But love isn't always enthusiastic. There are some pitfalls. There are some downtimes. Love isn't always a positive experience. And it takes people a long time to settle down and find a good guy or a good girl and start a family which a family can consist of two people it doesn't have to consist of more than two people my second question is do you agree with the premise that people used to marry to meet pragmatic needs but now marry to meet belonging and self actualization needs I do not believe this only because you can choose whether or not you want to be in a relationship. You don't have to be like, oh yeah, I had this self-actualization that I must find a potential shoot suitor and share the rest of my life with. We shouldn't really think about love in that way. We got to we kind of got to think of it as a a feeling like we got to we got to think of it as like in in our heart it can't be it can't be you know something that comes from the brain it come it has to come from the heart love comes from the heart not the brain is what i'm trying to say the second part of the question says are we expecting one person to provide what an entire village used to provide? Not necessarily, because you can love a whole bunch of people or just love one person and that one person is all you need. The third question is, is marriage between two people or two families? Typically, I would think that marriage is between two people but sometimes when your dad or your mom marries another guy or a woman, it's a conjoining of two families and it's kind of like the, you're kind of tying the knot with two families as well as tying the knot of two people. Thank you for listening.